This is a hardware overview of an 8-channel 10-amp SPDT relay controller uh, with a USB interface module installed. We have many different interface modules available, uh, including wireless, Ethernet, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, RS-232, and many more. Um, each of these relays have three contacts. They have a normally open, a common, and a normally closed. There's three connections per relay. So there are 12 connections per group of four relays and a, for a total of 24 connections. Um, here we have uh, eight relay status LEDs that indicate the on-off status of each of these relays. Here we have analog to digital inputs. These A to D inputs can be used for reading sensors or contact closure inputs. You can hook up temperature, humidity, and all kinds of analog sensors in the zero to five volt range. Uh, and you can read it with eight bit or 10 bit resolution. Uh, these analog inputs need to be pulled up or down uh, through 10, onboard 10K resistors. This jumper is used to, set, to pull them up or to pull them down. Um, over here, we have a built-in uh, temperature sensor in this controller, uh, which is located here. This is a temperature, temperature sensor output. You can, you can uh, connect this output to any of your available analog inputs if you want to read the onboard temperature sensor. We also have an onboard auxiliary 5 volt output for this controller as well as a ground. We also have the ability to directly wire a 12 volt DC power supply to this controller. This controller is suitable for automotive use so you can plug it into or wire it up to an automotive electrical system if you need to. Here we have a 2.1 millimeter center positive uh, barrel connector used for providing uh, power to this controller through a regular plug-in adapter. And here we have a program run jumper. The program run jumper is is normally set in run mode, but you can set it to program mode. If some of the settings uh, are incorrect, you can ever you can always recover your controller by setting it to program run mode and running our base station software. The busy ready LEDs uh, are normally ready. However, when you are, when the controller is receiving a command, it will switch over to the busy LED. Okay, also there's a, an unusual shape to this controller. This controller is designed to fit into an enclosure. Uh, if you do not want to use the enclosure, uh, these two large tabs here and here may be broken off along the seam. You can break these off. Uh, the controller will not be returnable for refund or credit, but you will get a smaller profile. Um, that pretty much covers it for this controller, so if you have any questions, please let us know.